Jeff Morrow at Nags Head, North Carolina, on the Outer Banks. Hurricane Bonnie still well to the south, but still kicking up a lot of surf here. We'll have the latest for you in just a few moments. And I'm Jim Cantore right here in Moorhead City. We've had a report of 85 mile per hour winds. I'll let you know where in just a moment. Thanks for joining us. We're live here in the Forecast Center. I'm Janetta Jones, joined by Dr. Steve Lyons, Hurricane Export Expert for the Weather Channel. Tell us what's happening right now. Are we seeing a landfall very, very shortly? That's right. The northern edge of the eye wall is already coming on shore there, uh, and uh, that's going to continue. You, here you can see on the radar the, uh, the circulation center roughly in here, and the northern edge of it is just uh, passing over Cape Fear there, and it'll continue to move on shore at about 10 miles per hour. Now, when we say landfall is occurring, what can we expect to experience? Well, at that time, on the eastern side of the, uh, the, the hurricane, the strongest winds are going to occur very soon after that. That means the storm surge is going to start coming up. Uh, the, the water level rise associated with the very high waves, probably breaking as high as 25 or 30 feet out there, is already up 3 or 4 feet. And now you're going to get another potentially 8 to 12 foot rise in the water level along the coast here. So it could be very, very uh, damaging the next uh, few hours. I do want to make mention we've had reports of flooding in the Wilmington area. We do have a number of flood warnings in effect. If you're in Bladen County, Brunswick County, Columbus County, or even Pender County, flood warnings for you. We've had reported five plus inches of rain and now a report coming in out of the Ogden area a car on Bayshore Drive had water up to the windows so that's what kind of flooding we are looking at as we check out the satellite vantage point the eye is still clearly visible you can see it moving on shore now that's right it's just about right there or roughly in that area and it's continuing to move on shore and you can see a lot of these heavy rain bands probably the strongest winds right now are in this band that are wrapping around right here and probably right between our two uh, reporters out there in the field, or on-camera meteorologists, I should say, out in the field. And speaking of that, we'd like to go now to Bill Keneally. He's standing by in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Bill, you have been bearing the brunt of this uh, so far. Can you tell us how things have changed? I sure can, Jeanette. I think about a half an hour ago I said how if this was not the eye wall, I would dread to see what the eye wall looked like. Well, unfortunately, I have two new victims of Hurricane Bonnie this big live oak tree and unfortunately this minivan directly behind that minivan has a crushed roof that car is now totaled think about it Janetta. we've had this elm tree or this oak tree i should say survive hurricanes hazel diana bertha fran but uh falling prey to hurricane bonnie and again the eye wall still out a little bit we're gusting probably close to 90 miles per hour trees are down everywhere it is extremely dangerous out here right now. The rain, not that big a factor. The flooding surely is. And please, I'm sure it seems like this will be repeated over the next hour or two. So please, by all means, everybody, hunker down and wait it out. Hopefully, things get better sometime this evening. All right, thanks so much, Bill Camille, reporting live from the Wilmington area, getting hit very, very hard right now. We have some new information. We want to go over the latest statistics on Hurricane Bonnie. Right. Uh, we just got some uh, information in here, uh, a new uh, vortex message from the aircraft uh, flying out of, in, the, uh, in the eye of the hurricane, in the eye wall, and we found uh, winds up to 125 miles an hour in the northeast quadrant, and the minimum pressure 962 millibars. That 125 miles an hour, of course, is well off the ground, about 10,000 feet up, so the winds are still up very high in that eastern quadrant. We have to be very careful here the next couple of hours. This is the time the damage can occur, so stay put wherever you are. And of course, the hurricane watches and warnings remain unchanged. Looking at the satellite vantage point, again, this is a Category 3 hurricane, a very dangerous hurricane, a major hurricane at that. We are going to see significant damage. We've already had reports of the flooding and the trees down and the power lines down. A lot of folks are without power even as we speak. We want to go now to a couple of other other live crews and of course Jim Cantori is standing by in Moorhead City and Jeff Morrow is in Nags Head, North Carolina. Jim, we'll start with you. Well, Janetta, we continue to see the wind. I mean, you know, there's no rain, so I don't even have my rain jacket on right now. And there's actually some, some uh, phases of sun that roll on through every once in a while, but the wind has not calmed down. We just got a report out of Atlantic Beach, which is across the sound here. This is Bogue Sound, and of course we have the Barrier Island on the other side, so Atlantic Beach uh, beyond that. That's where we had the wind gust of 85 miles an hour. Now, we have not had hurricane force here. I will tell you that right now on the, other, on the mainland. So uh, that is definitely good news. But there is still some scattered damage, uh, I've heard, of tree limbs and power lines down. But other than that, we're faring pretty well so far. 
But as Dr. Lyons mentioned, we still have that eastern semicircle, that northeast quad, and that's where they're finding those tremendous winds. And I'm telling you, if we get any kind of glimpses in the sun, you know what that means. That means the air can mix up a little bit higher and maybe transport those stronger winds on down. So we are far from out of the woods yet, even though, as you see, the rains have ended. Let's go up in north and check things out in Nags right. Head with Jeff. All right, Jim. And again, it kind of goes from okay where we are to bad where, to where you are and then to worse of course, where Bill Keneally is. We, of course, are way to the north of where the hurricane is. It is slowly moving in our direction, but we really haven't seen too much change here during the course of the day. This morning dawned very bright and sunny. It got low gray overcast. Even a rain squall moved through earlier. The ocean really hasn't changed too much. We're on an outgoing tide right now, which is some good news. No reports of any overwash on Highway 12 that I've heard of so far. Uh, just a lot of surf out there. But uh, with all these reports of the damage and the high winds in southeast North Carolina, Carolina. Uh, uh, hopefully that's not an ominous foreboding for us here on the Outer Banks. Of course, the first area that's going to be affected by that northeastern semicircle, at least on the Outer Banks, would be down toward Portsmouth and Ocracoke Islands, and then on up the Outer Banks, on up over Hatteras Island, and eventually here. But it's going to take all afternoon and probably into the night for that to happen as the storm is not moving very quickly. In any event, we will be here to cover that. Right now, things not too bad. But uh, a little bit of apprehension out here on the Outer Banks. Back to you, Janetta.